20% increase. I always wanted a thing called tuna sashimi.
Right, okay. Oh, actually, I need to buy yet. Uh, to my late Sunday. Not kick my bed. That'd be uh, that'd be also very useful. Chat up a second. What the hell is that trying to tell me to do? Ah, there we go. John Dini, how's it going? How are you, buddy? Yeah, uh, put the latest Saturn core on you, yeah. and I've got the FM Towns core. But my FM Towns discs are um, been been in queue, not here, so, so I can't get it working. Lady, can't fault that. Um, we'll have a play around with it now and see if we can get anything working. Uh, uh, what is it called? Got a weird name. I think they just called it like Release Towns. Tidy. Glad you're fine. Yeah, it's probably going to be hardly usable, I expect, but uh, it's pretty cool that there is actually a release of it. So it won't pick up my ISOs because they, they're not ISOs. So um, I did put some disc games on you. Uh, DPS and Super DPS. Do you try DPS? One of two. So it's, it looks like it's the same sort of setup as her other course. I think it's the lady doing these scores. So um, let's reset and see what happens. The FM Towns is a very nice uh, computer. Had some pretty fantastic arcade ports on it. It's got a really good port of tattoos, tattoos you know, and um, splatters. Like I said, I don't even know if this works. I have no idea if it's even doing anything. I don't even know if I'm missing anything either. Whether there's like, um, there's nothing is there, so... These calls have released in the past. They're a bit like you're not quite sure you'd get them working. Maybe it doesn't work. All right, just try something else just in case. Oh, there's only a couple of games in you. Um, Wrestle Angels. Okay, let's try Wrestle Angels and see if that works. I'll have to look into how to get it set up. So maybe it's like the ever, like the uh, ever course. We I need a BIOS files and uh, like operating system files or something. Quite possibly. Well, okay. We need to look in more into that. I think I'll have a look at that tomorrow afternoon. There's HDFs as well, which is quite interesting. They might be the best way to go if I can find some. Oh, well, that, that don't work. I'll have to work that out. Um, I noticed there's some more computers on here. Uh, where was it? Uh, Clico. I'm not sure if the Clico Adam was there before. I might be in a new one, possibly. Um, I think the M5's been there for a while, but I don't know what it is. Hotel Aquarius. Um, and that. Hayota. I have no idea what that is. Oh, why did I put the Saturn Core in there for? <laughs> Saturn Core, Saturn Core. Uh, 
Uh, that the Victor Z 06C, whatever that is. So I don't know, maybe some more. Um, so let's try. Let's see if I can get something working in here. I haven't played uh, PC88 for a while. Right, so let's go that. Neo Cope set, maybe. I think this game I'm looking for does actually work. Uh, where is it? I've forgotten the name of it. Now no we're looking for it. I've forgotten the bloody name of it. Um, ah, there it is. Silpede. That's the demo game. Disc A2 Invincibility Hack. I know still Pete does work on you. Uh, I've lost again now. Uh, oh God, where is it? Shitter. Shitter Okaba. Okiba. The hell is Shitter Okiba? Is it? Ah, oh, Sylvie's. No. Game arts. Right. So let's um, let's reset and see what happens. Even in retro, how's it going? No, that's probably what I'm missing. Did you did you post it? I thought it was probably like a boot file or something I'm missing. many ages hence oh hang on controls probably be an Andy one right left oh up five one five two uh oh damn it I wonder uh two nope I'm sure you can start this. Ah, right, okay. Nah, I don't have it either. I'll have to have a look on the Mr. Forums if anyone's posted it on there. You've probably got a make one or something, I expect, from the original boot ROMs for the machine. I'm sure I had this working once. Um. Okay, I'm let me find the keyboard, just in case. Oh, hang on, that worked. I haven't got no sound. You guys got sound? Yeah. You guys got sound? No. I'm sure this had sound before. Hang on, let me load the core again. I say this core is heavily in beta in it, basically. Um, wow. Let's just do the first one. Oh, Mr. Discolor. Um, basic enabled boot disk. Why haven't I got sound? Oh, it's called does have sound, right? Okay. Okay. Oops, don't want to do that. Let me, um, 
reload Silpede and see what happens. Um, see if we can get it working. Let's try a different disk version. Let's try that one. Yeah, I'll, I'll go looking for it tomorrow. See if I can get it working. I'd have to convert. I, I've got the entire set of FM Town stuff. I downloaded it ages ago. But uh, they're all in bin and queue format. And it looks like the um, core will only use... Uh, ISOs, so I'm gonna have to try and convert them. Right, so let's try again. I think the entire set was something like I. I change a lot of them, this, um, CHDs, just make it a bit small storage, if you know what I mean. But uh, I'm sure the entire set was something like a hundred and. Hundred and sixty, hundred and seventy gig download. Ah, now we got some. Somebody's I seen somebody's done a replay of this and put it on um, YouTube. Ah, oh, it's returned, not uh Elena. Oh, we've gone off speech. Maybe just done up sound. Oh yeah we do. I'm not sure, but this may be the original version of this game. Be interesting to see if you see how good that code is and see if um it runs some of the games. I'm assuming seeing it it probably doesn't work particularly good. Ah, there was no uh, outrun this week either from uh, Joe Tego. Looks like it's going to take a little bit longer before we get uh, outrun on the Mister. Be a nice addition when we get it. Anyone did anyone have a look at those um, videos of the Mega Drive Mini and um, Space Area now? Apart from the flicker, they they look really good. And they do look like Mega Drive ROMs as well, so I don't think they're like 32X games or anything. So, like I said, I, I could get my mate to pick me up a Japanese one in the end of November, the end of this month, like coming up. Right, what do I actually do? Left weapon, right weapon, is it? Select. Alright, nothing to select. The Mega Drive version of this is nice, and it? it looks, it still looks really nice. I'm not sure what that does. Yeah, I, so I, I wouldn't mind playing those three games. It's the only reason I won one, essentially. Oh, I can't go. 
together. Yeah, it does. I think it's it's been quite troublesome, haven't it? Compared to his, uh, usually it's done in, you know, done within a week or so. I think he expected it to be uh, checked out pretty fast, but it's been a lot more complicated. Fair. The good one we have it, mate. It is a classic, and I, I've been quite enjoying the um, hang on on the core. Does that mean I got no energy if it says invincibility end? Yeah, it's been a long time, haven't it? Should be good, some good workouts. Once you get these scalers going, it's going to open up opportunities to do some of the other ones. Right, shall I have a... So I did pick up a weapon. by two of them. Man. You guys been playing anything interesting in the week? Found any new games or anything? We found is that um, Infinex, which is rather cool. I'll probably have a blast on that tomorrow afternoon. God, they're solid there to dodge. some weapons or something. Damn. The, uh, that gun vein should be out um, next week. They said the first week of uh, November. Hopefully it's not... Uh... Oh, it blew up. Ah. Oh. Did I start from the beginning, or...? Okay, continue. Nope. Right, well, one more go. I'll go the Mega CD one then. I don't know what the hell he's saying. I wonder if you've got to pick the weapons up at this, or... You so they just appear after certain levels or so. 
Oh, great. Oh, automatic fire, nice. H, what's that? Shield of Arms. Oh, that's nice. when they get close to bam down the middle. Could do with better weapons. That's the only thing about this game, it could do with better weapons. The Meg CD runs the same. Yeah, it does. It's quite long, isn't it, from what I remember. I remember finishing the um, the Mega Drive, the Mega CD version, years and years ago. I remember it being quite tough. And you guys ever played the um, PlayStation Two one? That was quite good. A little bit on the boring side because it, it does. Hang around for a while, but uh, generally pretty decent. Looks nice. The points, the uh, points. Weird, they come down, maybe you can't shoot them. Right, he's gonna ram me the next time he comes down, I think. Yep. Oh, Infinix. Right, okay. Yeah, I can imagine it does get quite tricky. Cool, I got that to come. Ooh, invincibility. Ram everything. I'm invincible. So you, you finish it, Vu. Be a little bit tricky at the start, can it? Before you uh, manage to power up a little bit. Right. Do I have uh, any other choices of weapons, though? Let's go for the standard weapon this time. I think. Um. Did 
Those laser ones are a nightmare. And then once. Better weapons. Come on, give me some weapons or something. Some pickups. Broke my shields, great. I think if I get it, I'm dead, basically. Yeah, I've played that a little bit. I, I I probably need to go through that. It's got a quite clever sort of... Um, it's almost like uh, Ikaruga style, haven't it? With the uh, different colours systems to go through. But yeah, it looks lovely, that game does. It's on uh, Game Pass as well, isn't it? I think I've got it on the PC on you. Yeah? Job I kept the uh, forward fighting, I think. This is uh, quite impressive for uh, how old this, pe this computer actually is. Yeah, it's very much like a bit like Castlevania, isn't it, that game? In some ways. Oh, I mean, I'm almost dead. Yep, I'm dead. Came to the PS4 as well, didn't it? Right, okay, let's play the uh, Mega CD version. Oh, wrong one. Got to go to the Mega CD, haven't I? Yep, boom indeed. Right, so let's have a look. Um, so if I go Japan, should I play the original one? I haven't got any games. Weird. Oh, I didn't need any. No. Should delete those folders, actually. I don't need them. The, uh, it's a really good mix of full motion video on this, and in the backgrounds, it does fool you to think uh, the Mega CD is actually doing all the polygons and stuff.
He was. When, did, when does they mess with the difficulty on this? As Game Arts did with a lot of this stuff. It's got quite a cool intro, I think. See you later, alligator. Smoke a uh, kipper skip. I'll be back for breakfast. <laughs> That's brilliant, does. Oh, man, used to sometimes have kippers for breakfast. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> uh, what a guy. That's all I can say. <laughs> Brilliant. Please don't watch the intro. Please be here. That's it for the look of it. Sulpeed. Right, what we got then? Option ways. Uh, so we got main web, main arm option, main arm, right, okay, that's fine. I can live with that. Polygon test, no. I still love the way the um, some of the spaceships blow up in this, it looks really cool. <laughs> Probably should do a remake of this. Oh, you met Chris Barry, did you? Nice. <laughs> nice, that's the way. I've never seen him at a con or anything. That's cool. A little bit of an upgrade over the original, isn't it? Ooh, okay. We got a lot more bullets. That's the eight bonuses. Which is quite funny. My God! Still impressive. This looks when he blows up. I love the way I blows up. It's cool. A bonus repair, right? Okay, that's where they are. I remember this being quite tough towards the end. The stages get really hard. I think it's all about basically having the right weapon.
<laughs> Tally ho, look at the size of that thing. Ooh, okay. I can go down for the middle. Oh, you can shoot him. <laughs> Brilliant, that's it. Tally who? In the year of 3076, an unmanned solar space force fleet suddenly started to attack the colony planet. The grease on the system the central photon computer that integrates and controls the whole galaxy clocks go back to night, don't planet, Earth, was network jacked by an unknown terrorist group. The leader of the terrorists solemnly introduced himself as Zakarte. <clears throat> the survivors of the Galaxy Union and the Colony Planet's fleet assembled all their forces to strike at Zakarte. This was like the super impressive when it first came out. Their way to the solar system. After drastic restructuring and the addition of reinforcements to the tactical fighter spacecraft, the SA-77 Silphies, their last resort, the remaining fleet began the counterattack. Their destination? Oh, I might do. Planet, Earth. So I'm knackered here. <laughs> right, so it gives you the same weapon setup. So I'm going to keep a look forward. Proton Torpedo. Ooh, that sounds good. All right. This game did fool everyone to thinking that the Mega CD was doing all the all the polygons in the background stuff. That was a bad idea. Remember, you've got to dodge those pretty big uh, asteroids. Angie's crap already. At least uh, the ones you got to dodge, you can uh, you can shoot them, so you know you got to dodge them. I need that. No, oh, that was right. Did he hit the uh, asteroid then? It looked like it. Okay. You can stay in the middle of it, but not all the time. We face different fire. Sneaky around me. Yeah, my brother had it as well.
I need to make a CD. This is how I got to play. I didn't actually have it myself. So, do I get the... It's probably a bad idea doing this, but we'll see. Yeah, he had a copy of it. I'd already... Oh, God, that was a really bad idea. I'd already sold my Mega CD at the time, and... Great. Weapons rubbish. <laughs> Great, I've got to kill everything from the side now. Brilliant. Just what I wanted. Handy for them, I suppose. I can't take anything front on anymore, no. That music reminds me of um, Peace Dog Isle 2. Yeah, every time my brother had this, I'd, I'd sold my Mega CD a long time ago. I had a Japanese one I did, when they came out. I didn't have it long ago, I think I had it for about three months. And then I um, basically got rid of it. Because there was literally nothing coming out on it, it was worth having. I think all I had on it was Funky Horror Band. Which is pretty much pointless. Um, Black Old Assault, uh, Ernest Evans, and was there anything else? That might have been it actually. I'm sure I had something else. Oh, this is great with this weapon. That, that weapon's crap. Yeah. Game over. Game over. <laughs> right, do I continue? Let's continue and see if it gives me options for weapons. Oh, thank God for that. Yep. Don't get that out of weapons, rubbish. I still quite enjoy you in the sevens, even though it's uh, it's well cheesy and it looks odd as hell. But it's got nice music. It's a fun game. Don't play that for ages. Yeah, I think I was. I think I had like three or four games for it, and just nothing was coming out that was worth having. And at that point, I was just like, "Nah, fuck this, I'm getting rid of it." So I flogged it. I flogged the, the Mega CD. I went bought a new Jew. Like, what is that thing? Just but he kills everyone on screen. Yeah, Neo Geo was much better than Mega CD.
Not some, not sure sometimes where the enemies go on this. Right, so fires a big f beam at me very quickly there. All right, I got dark the background as well. It's not good. Right, come on. Out. I got no energy. Oh yeah, that's what I bought. I, I I basically I sold the Mega CD. Well, I did a um I did a trade. It was for a Neo Geo. I think the Neo Geo was I'm sure it was like six hundred and thirty quid. So I ended up uh, the the Mega CD was literally brand new at the time, only a few months old. So I had a pretty good deal on the exchange on it. I can't remember exactly how much I paid extra, but it was probably quite a bit. Oh, two way five in. That might be useful. Flunk beam. Um, okay, let's do that on the normal firing. What does that do then? Go with that then. Yeah, I had Alpha Mission uh, 2. I had a Neo Geo and Alpha Mission 2. I love that Neo Geo. Had loads of fun, right? Just obviously it was expensive to buy the games at the time. Felt like the boss swing back in the day if you had Neo Geo. It was just like it was literally the best thing you could buy. <laughs> but I did have a picture somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. I had a picture of like my old desk as a kid set up and uh, a 14 inch television and a Neo Geo and about six games. I think I've lost the picture though. I used to exchange them as well. It used to be like an exchange club. So I used to do that quite often. Like you paid, uh, it was a membership fee. I can't remember how much it was now. And then it was something like 35 quid every exchange or something. So you, you literally just, you, you rung them up, told them what you had. And then they would put it out on their, uh, the old days we put new into it they would put it out in there the monthly sort of uh, club thing and then you could uh, it'd be up for exchange and so I, I used to do that that was quite useful and uh same so i made over the road had one as well so it was quite handy i used to swap it I, we used to sort of lend each other games all the time I think we'll probably go fly over the top then. I'm assuming you can't fly over these. I got a new Duke because I wanted Magician Lord. That was the reason was the reason I bought it. Damn. I need that. Badly. Now I'm in the crap, and I. Oh my god! Oh god, I'm slow now. So oh, I thought I had it. Remember Metal Slug at the time when it first came out? It was about hundred and it was about two hundred quid. Because so I think when the last, when the last games I bought on it before I I sw I sold it to get a mega uh, to get a um, Neo Geo CD because literally the games were like way cheaper. Um.
Yeah, that's probably a good good way to do it. Yeah, I think the, one of the last games I bought her for I remember was uh, King of Monsters 2. Evening, Bean. I'm okay, thanks, buddy. How yourself? Oh, I picked the wrong weapon again. Oh, oh well. Yeah, it was King of Monsters 2, I think, was the last the last actual full cartridge I bought. And I think that was 100 and... I'm pretty sure I paid something like 150, 160 quid for it. It's all about picking the right weapon on this, isn't it? I think at that point I'd... Because um, I, remember, I remember going to Cardiff to pick it up. Used to be a card, if it used to be shot and guarded, and um, it's all new Jew stuff. I like that game as well. King Monster Super Street, great. I'm gonna end you again. Yeah, I swapped it for a new Jew CD then. Sounds like a crazy deal, but I don't know, it was, was just way cheaper. It opened up a lot more games to me as well. At slower speed. My choice of weapons, this was. Oh, now I'm screwed, isn't I? Across at me, and he oh, damn it. Oh, I got him. Dodge that. <sighs> damn it. Maybe not could do it. <laughs> um, that's oh, hang on. Do that beam. And do that one. I'm bit knackered tonight as well, to be honest. Um, Antimatter bomb. Ooh, sounds interesting. Oh, does I use a shield engine when you use it? Right, hopefully two of these weapons is good. Yeah, that's right. That's cool. Okay, I'm ready. I lost half a start anyway, I didn't get up to about 12 o'clock. I didn't get in no to about, about 3 o'clock last night. Last morning I got in. I need energy. Give me some energy. 
Oh great, they fired big, big weapons at you. Oh shit. Dead. That's rough. Let's try again. Uh, I was down there, um, mess mosquitoes. The late. Yep. Yeah, I got in about three. Right, that was a bit better. I didn't get it that time. I am better off literally almost staying in front of this guy. So he's gonna fire. It's awkward. I can't remember how many levels are on this game. Just mainly watching, um, watching a bit of TV, talking, chatting, laughing. Did play some games. Playing on the um, on the Switch. Played a little few things on there. Had the mist on for a little bit as well. Generally, just uh, trying to do some updates and stuff. Damn, this is a tricky level. Diddy, 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 diddy. that time. Right, 
you get close to him, you can kill him pretty quick. Right, so forget behind me, I've got to go the opposite direction. God, when they spin round you, it's a bit tricky to dodge. Damn. Shield's gone. We're screwed because you don't get any energy back. Now my weapon's gone. Now I'm definitely screwed. Yep. Do it. Last chance. Antimatter bomb. Let's go with that. I got to do well at the start. Always, I'm, I'm knackered. That's not good. That's not how to do well at the start. Roger. about by you no. so when those yellow ones come in I've literally got to go to the side I wasn't going to get hit Those ones that spin round you are a nightmare. I'm not doing much better. Get him with a missile, maybe. I got him. What the hell? That was lucky. Red leader, Topaz Ray. was R2, Graviton Bomb. That seemed to kick ass on the boss. 
Let's go with that again. Very lucky on that boss. Music's gone all funky. Ooh, okay. God, I should have been way over to the side then. Ooh, big laser. Don't know what I'm supposed to dodge. <laughs> God, that was lucky. I don't know what that is. Invincible, nice. I'm not sure if that's time based or yeah, time based. Ooh. Okay, they fire a lot. Again, need that badly. Be nice. Okay, maybe not. Oh, I got it dead as well. And I haven't got no secondary weapon. Shit. I'd definitely go the other side, the opposite side then. Dead it. Game over. Ah, I tried. Oh, actually, I had the one core I want. Um, uh, where is it? Here's Devon. So I'll play that for a while. Okay. I think I might mess that up then by doing that. Maybe you are post reject it. Hang on, which profile am I playing on? He's playing that profile. Swap profiles a minute. Uh, this is Ernest Evans. I like Ernest Evans. It's a cheesy game, but it's fun. It's got good music as well. Remember, I was playing it before. I was trying to get a 1cc run of it. I'm not sure if I did. Came close to it. I know that. Wolf team. Game created art. No, oh, I still can see it. You never heard of it, bro. Ah, it 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 looks <laughs> it looks shit. It's really disjointed sort of graphics on the characters and that, but it, it, it's fun. Masaka. 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 Masaka.
They did a cartridge version as well, which is practically exactly the same, apart from the intros. よけなことは口にするな。あるかないか。それは俺が確かめることだ。俺はアーネストエバス。ステイシア。あ、そうね。あの知れたトレジャーハンターだ。ここメキシコの南部に千年の時を経たコアトリクへの像があると判明したのが
That might be. He is very funny looking, junky as hell. Are you planning on going to march you? Nice. That'll be wicked. He does look exactly like a puppet. Alright. Can't understand that anyway. This bit. Okay, I got across it. So this game is very silly. Might be going the wrong way actually. Okay, I'm going. My life's almost down now. The best way to do this is not like that. But yeah. <laughs> Except this game is super janky. It's got some nice scaling effects on some of the uh, like skull enemies later on, but on the cartridge version of this, exactly the same. Peru no Tayo, Sono Kuretsna Hisasio Chikonist, Yoshanako, Reno Hadao in IT. Yeah, I did. I got it off the uh, French guy that um, Dean posted. You you don't have to have it, but if you don't, it, it depends if you if you're bothered about cutting the uh, connector off, basically. Because uh, otherwise, you, you basically I don't know if you can see it. You got you got the connector that comes in there, which is for the um, for the JVS, and the actual joystick connector comes off here, which plugs into there. But if you don't mind cutting that off, if you don't care about cutting that off, you can just cut that off and join it straight to the the brook. But if you want to keep it more original and the ability to change it back if you ever wanted to, which I probably never will, you can just buy the. Uh, the harness and do it that way. Like I say, if you're not bothered about cutting the connector off, you don't need it essentially. I ended up having to get two because I had the eight button like so um yours got eight yours got eight buttons on as well on this you're gonna I think it is harness comes with an eight button zoom, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought.
I want to try and keep it original if I could, like this, because I ever won the option of playing JVS. Yeah, the harness is about 30 odd quid for a single player one. You, you'd need two. I think he does a double pack, doesn't he, with the two player harness. Gotta go down. Oh no, here's the boss. Yeah, they are JVS. That's that's what these cabs are essentially designed for. They do look fun. You, you can run all the games on the console, essentially, now. That's on the actual, um, on those multis. You can get them for about four or five hundred quid with uh, upgraded hard drives, uh, upgraded um, graphics cards. If you've got a PC or whatever, you, you, can, you can essentially... As long as you've got Techno Pirate to go in, you can basically run all the games anyway. I think you got to go this way. Yeah, one of those uh, one of those multis might be quite cool. Wrong way. The only, thing, the only one thing you'd have to do with them is change the fan. Oh yeah, I forgot this boss. Damn. This boss is easy to kill if you've got that um that weapon. Yeah, it would be nice to have. I wouldn't say no to having one. You'd have to take your consoles out to fit it in there, though. <laughs> That's what uh, Mo put in that cab when he showed we were running, was a Type X. I think the boss is by here. Yeah, it is. Most sells them as well.
Yeah, they go to the brook as well. There's, there's um, room for eight buttons on the brook. I think the brook was stand was designed for standard joysticks. Well, yeah, all the standard joysticks have all got eight buttons, which is basically it's basically your square, triangle, um, X, and uh, oh, what's the other circle, and then you got you basically your you, two rights and the two lefts. But the best way to do it, the best way to set up the buttons, is to set them up exactly like a PlayStation pad. So you have X, circle, uh, triangle, square, and then basically um, it's right one and right two, then left one and left two. If you do that, it's literally compatible with every PlayStation game. You don't have to mess around with changing buttons or anything. And a lot of Steam games and stuff use that, lay that layout as well. Hey, my dance was going. In this door, Evans, or yep. Yokoshima, a yo no common job. Janky is help of fun. Oh damn, I forgot about these things. I gotta go this side, collect this, and then I gotta run back to the beginning. The middle quite fast. Why did you go for there? I can't remember. Oh no, I gotta go this way, haven't I? We gotta go go this way first. <laughs> Don't think there's anything else over here once you've been over here. No. Like his chicken head, it's good. I've been looking occasionally a multi, uh, one of those um, Tato X-rays came up on um, UK VAC in the week. It went pretty fast though. I think it was about four, four hundred and four hundred and thirty maybe the guy wanted for it. And I'd upgraded hard drive and um, graphics card. Yeah, no worries, buddy. Obviously you can't hear me saying that. Can I do thumbs up? Yeah。わがやぼうを叶えるあの日本でいるからな。エシエスアルベント。You gotta watch here, sometimes you can die from that. Stabby. It's a weird game, isn't it? Strange, you know, I, I don't know what it is, I quite like it. Even though it, it's pretty terrible, really. 
It does have a pretty damn good turn track roll. Stay by here. I'm pretty sure you could fall off that when you survive it. Getting close to the end. This, this, this level reminds you of Nasica Valley of the Wind. With the arms, and it looks like you're underground as well. Pretty much, this is definitely our level from that game. Uh, from that movie. Sometimes you can get away with killing them, bugging it, sometimes you can't, it all depends. the boss thing. あ、<笑> Mega CD beat em up and a PC Engine game. And um Elevendo. Don't touch the coin!
Oh, that was a really bad place to duck down. I didn't do that then, he just ran to be rolled into it. Oh no, don't get up, get up, get up, you daft bastard. Okay, so there we are. It can be very random sometimes. Now I'm probably not going to finish the game. Are you done? I, I still need to look for his channel. Safe if you stay here. Yeah, this is going to be tough to do now. In fact, I'm not going to do it now. Sleeping potion. It's a stupid thing to have in the game in a sleeping potion. How are you supposed to do these again? It? It's just not happening, is it? Did very much unless I'm super lucky. Nope, I'm not lucky. Get out the way, get out the way, get out the way, get out. Dead. It is sort of a little bit like Samurai Ghost, but Samurai Ghost is a pretty decent game as well. No, it's a, it's a PC Engine game, isn't it? Sam, my ghost did never come out in the Mega Drive. 
Let's have another try. See if we can blast through it. They were arcade games as well. If you look at the arcade ones, the arcade ones don't look much different to the PC Engine one. To be honest. Right, I'm going to go for the... Uh, Got it, mate. Actually, I probably don't need to kill him. Sometimes you can get stuck on that um, bottom one with it, and you can get the perfect place to, to get in without getting hit. I like Sophie's. Sophie's is a nice game. It's one of my favourite Meg CD games. That was a Sharp X68000 game, wasn't it, originally? Apparently, the Mega CD um, soundtrack is the Sharp's um, MIDI soundtrack. Took us off in somewhere, actually. Great start. Shit, that's not good. There's NG up here basically. Go on, climb up it. Jump! Ah, oh, you, you bastard! Okay, now we're having a laugh, basically. Ah. Oh. Lost loads of energy then. Let's start that again. That was pretty bad. Oh, I haven't got a game in here, Devastate is quite a nice mech game, which I, I've never finished. <laughs> he, definitely, he definitely runs like a pigeon, doesn't he? Or a chicken. It's got that bird head movement thing, which you can't help. Right. 
Okay. See if we can do better. Yeah, sometimes you just get stuck on this and that's that. The game hates you at that point. weird janky design for a character though isn't it? I don't know what they were, they were thinking really to be honest team I suppose have never really been known for making like high quality games. They make interesting games which I've quite liked but nothing you would uh, call AAA at the time. Tricky to grip that one. You can swing across there. I went too bad. Take as a win. It's really awkward to grip on things as well. Get on his back and duck down. I see. This is the place to be in all for the best, basically. Dodge it. Okay. 
got an invincible head. Oh, come on, get up, you stupid shit. <sighs> Sometimes does crazy things like that. not want to be stuck in between things. And she looks terrible. Yeah, he just randomly went into that roll then. It's cool looking, those skull things. They're exactly the same on the cartridge version as well. So there's no thing, anything done by the actual, by the actual uh, Mega CD itself. In fact, the graphics are about the same on the cartridge version. I want to keep that uh, weapon for the boss. So you can kill the boss pretty quickly, from what I remember. Come on, die, spiky thing. That's the quote of 2002, is it? <laughs> uh, this is just luck. Okay, that worked. You've got to watch sometimes because you get stuck to the, to the bloody floor or the background. Right, let me deal with this thing first. NG's shower spot. I could try jumping over it. Yeah, okay, that's probably easier. Oh, come on. I don't want to go too far forward because the boss is there. Right, here we go in. Right, you gotta you gotta duck down when you got this weapon because uh fires it at a weird angle always. Yep. Okay, he's dead. Is it eight and a half minutes? That's probably using swings and stuff to make you uh, shoot around. That's quite impressive, eight and a half minutes. How the hell do you do that? I suppose you just dodge everything, didn't you, basically, and just run through the levels. Like him. Just run away from him.
I'm sorry for that, guys. Thanks. He still looks like his legs are ruined. Sorry, what I didn't do. I suppose if you if you literally just dodged everything, don't bother killing anything, and run past, you yeah, you probably cut the time down a fair amount. A trick you do on late and some of the later levels, though, I suppose. Trying to dodge, get away from that one then is probably a bad idea. I'm going to take you safe. Ding, 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 ding. Go on, chicken head. Sure, you can run off here and die, and still survive at the end. Oh no, okay, there's no fall. Yeah, this would be a tricky level to speedrun. Jump over them, can they? No. Disappear then. Okay. 
Pokémon. ¿En esto? Remember that tree, though. Big piranhas on my leg that kill me. Great. Come on, piss off. I need some piranha spray or something. Give our wolf team the the soundtracks were always good. Come on, skippy skippy. Not want to get the sleeping potion. If I can help it. Oh, come on. I can't really do much about this. Slowly, slowly. Running down there is always a bad idea. No, it isn't. We're good. One last thing, but he killed the fish in. I was swallowed by Aiden. Last level now, I think.
Okay, here we go. In. Right, left as well. Damn, he didn't jump in. <laughs> Close. Sometimes you reach your input. Masaka. Masaka? What does that mean in Japanese? ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
Yeah, if you if you learn a programming language, but yeah, that, that is another language essentially. I can't imagine doing programming. Probably bore the shit out of me. I like messing around with PCs and stuff, but sitting there and programming, oh, right up the wall, I think. I don't like messing around with problems and stuff like that, and you know, building PCs. Well, that's quite interesting and fun, but forward to sitting down for uh, eight hours a day just looking at code <laughs> and going through code is just like no. Yeah. You can. There's quite a few YouTube channels now which you could learn Japanese off, or at least learn phrases and stuff you could get away with. Anyway, I found anyway, all you can get away with is basically height and um, arigato gozimas. Or domo arigato mo gozimas, as they tell you to say, but everyone just says gozimas. Just is like thanks. Okay, Nishiwa. Was the what was the excuse me? Kawaii is this cute, isn't it? Yeah, Kawaii. And um oh, what was the excuse me? That's a couple of people in Japan because I want to take photos of them. <laughs> oh, cinema say, I say, cinema say. the old Indiana Jones moment but with more arms yeah, I don't know just like the way Japanese words sound don't know where there's no other language I've sort of thought of that to be honest but you know, Japanese probably just years and years of yearning games and stuff it just it just sounds alright for some reason she used to teach Japanese did she Having to look at while you're learning. There's there's a, another one that keeps popping up. My YouTube feeds does uh, like um, different words per day, like you said, and she's been learning like different phrases. And the last video I seen was how uh, to say things, but say it in a rude way. Just don't say it in like um, not rude as in like like sexy rude, but as in uh, you know just being rude basically. You gotta be careful as well, aren't you? Because there, there's formal Japanese and there's informal Japanese. But I think most Japanese expect foreigners not to know the formal Japanese because it's probably really awkward to learn. It does sound like a good watch. Hitotoshi. As a hero. Have a go with um, Devastator. I've only got a level four on that. It was like a mazy level. It was quite tricky. See, I love Dungeon Explorer, but Dungeon Explorer, you and you, you got to keep eating food. It sort of, it sort of ruins it a bit. Well, you don't keep eating food, you die. And uh, I don't know. I don't like iron games. Apart from that, it actually looks good. Maybe I should play it. Because I love the other two Dungeon Explorer games. Let's do Wish We. Alright, I can reject. 
did watch a replay of it a little while ago and it does actually look a good game but the food thing really annoys me you didn't have to do that in the other dungeon explorers this is the only one i haven't finished as well i've done this snes one and the two pc engine ones but never the meg cd version It's crazy it came out in the SNES, isn't it? What's it called on the SNES? Something on Crystal Beans. Oh, okay, what options we got? We got internal backup save, yes. Save our motor save, okay, cool. Welcome to Dark Wall. Welcome to whatever it was. I be made it. Darkling Tower. Somewhere within the dungeons of this tower is imprisoned the goddess of ambition. <laughs> okay. The Whoever rescues the goddess will be granted everything he wishes. Fame, fortune, even eternal life. I do have a lot. Crystal Beans was quite fun, actually. Not quite as good as the PC Engine ones, I would say, but it was quite good. I don't know why it's called Crystal Beans or something stupid. <laughs> the quest for the Crystal Beans or something like that. Set foot in the tower, he may never return alive. That went in there, set game over, no turning back. The only way for you to rescue the tower and save the world is to venture into the dungeons. This tower rescued the god Elsa. <laughs> I'll get you next time, Gadget. I could do it deeper now, but it's a bit... It's a bit of a killer. Right, who should I go then? But, I see, the, the knight is usually... <laughs> this has to be the knight, isn't it? Ooh, he's quite funky looking. Beast. He's got good life. Go beast. Yeah, you got life, which is really weird. The Garden of Destiny. All right, I'll save, is it? Weapons. I haven't got a manual. No, I have. Have I got money? No, gold. Nothing. See, this looks cool. And I'm quite sure I'd probably enjoy it. Apart from the food thing. Good start, that is, isn't it? Okay. Instant death for first three enemies on the screen. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Short game, huh? Right, okay. Camila. Uh, Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Need a voice like that. Okay. We could do with money though. Ooh. Right, 
So what's the button then? So that's... How do you pick your weapon? Oh, he's going all crazy now. No, I don't want to change character. Right, here we go. Eh? I can like dodgy things. <laughs> Wait. Okay, that's better. Scrolling's a bit crap, isn't it? Oh, it's a wolf. You big boy. Let's use more than one button. See my food thing going down? So annoying, guys. I wouldn't mind giving this a go to finish it. Voice of One summer, they knew what you did. One summer, three girls. Oh. Have you seen <laughs> the guy used to do that for the um, for the adverts and stuff and the um, film previews? He did have a YouTube channel, and <laughs> he'd literally just uh, wander around following people in U in the US. And then talking about him in that voice as he was <laughs> uh, It was quite funny. Favorite kid, isn't he? Have you starved to death now? But I get it. Yeah, it'd be funny, he'd be following somebody around the street. I... Oh, I got killed. <laughs> he'd be following somebody over a crossing, he'd be like, Two girls, one handbag across in. Are they gonna make it? And he'd be walking behind him doing things like that. Just talking, just talking about it. He'd just turn around and go, what the hell? Well, we're doing well so far. Can't kill the first boss, and if I try killing the first enemy on the screen, I die. Going well. I'm going to have to stick with that character now, aren't I? Yeah. This summer. <laughs> this 
summer, a summer camp. Fifteen, is it like fifteen students? Ugh. What night of passion. Anyway. Right. Ooh, they did see me and they run fast. It's bizarre. Yeah, it was the guy who did the voice for that, it was. seems to work quite well. Don't mm. be shots this thing takes. Oh, I thought I was reasonably safe then. Odd, it start you off with like a, a hard boss. Seems a bit safer here. I've only been nipped once so far, here. This guy just like not very powerful or something. How am I going to starve to death before I actually kill him? Supposed to get goals, maybe? You got like a better weapon to try and kill him? Horror games to play as well for Monday. I know Splatterhouse is going to be one of them. Possibly uh, Night Slashes. I'll, I'll do a stream on Monday. Just trying to think what else we could play. God, this thing's solid.
Jesus. Alright, that gives me double firing, that's handy. Well, it looks like it, doesn't it? I think this was the only place I could go. I think. Th this thing's not dying, is it? I'd be funny if this is actually the last boss that I managed to get. <laughs> Game over. Oh, okay. I don't think I could go behind me when we started. Didn't think we could. I'm literally going to starve to death before I end up killing it. My food levels don't just, uh, you know, 447 already. I do like uh, the two PC engine ones, are really good. This is crazy. This definitely seems like this is not the way to do it. <laughs> Life is six. Okay, maybe this isn't the way to do it because he took but he's 30, 34 life off me, I think. You might be right. Maybe I've got to go behind you. It's pretty random off the start too and you gotta go you gotta go down. This, this can't be the way to go. Imagine if this was the first boss. Oh, out of the other ones. Yeah, it's a bit ridiculous for a first boss, isn't it? Supposed to ease you into it. Not checking in front of the hardest thing known to man. Oh, I've killed it. Oh, okay, I'm killed it. Got all excited and stuff, then. 
Okay. I think you may be right. I could well be the last boss. Indeed. Okay, let's go down then. That is the Garden of Destiny, I'll give you that. That's weird going down, isn't it? It's normally like go forward. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Um, Interpoly did sharp and then uh, where is it? Makes it a bit softer, but it might scroll a bit better. Okay, they are. And again, it doesn't scroll particularly amazing anyway. Okay, I can kill him this side. Maybe this is where you gotta go. level two. Hey. Actually, I might put that interpolation back on. It's not the fanciest scrolling game in the world. well and good. I just fought the hardest boss known to man and died. I cancelled it. But I still, because uh, I didn't have the money, so I cancelled it. But I might, I might wait and see if they, the ro those games get dumped on me, which they might do. If they get dumped, I probably won't bother getting it, because I only want it just to play for the uh, space area. Or, if, if it doesn't get done, I'll probably, um, my mates pop going to Japan, basically, for a couple of days. I might get him to pick up the Japanese one. 
I know technically probably the you know the UK one is probably the best one to have, but our Japanese one will have a nice box. They, they look pretty good. They're a bit, a bit um, they're a bit flickery. At least Space Navier Two is, but it looks like a big improvement over the original. It looks pretty nice, and Fancy Zone looks pretty excellent. But they do actually look like Mega Drive games, so I assume they are Mega Drive ROMs. Say it may never get dumped anyway, but if it does, I'll grab it. But. Like I say, I have that, I'll pick it up payday, maybe. These, these enemies are pretty hard, aren't they? Yeah, I say did have it, just, uh, yeah, I know it's like run out of cash. relying on that special weapon at the moment to really survive. Red Warrior. Yeah, it's not the best scrolling game, this is it. A bit odd. Red Warriors about to die. Maybe it's not that way then. Maybe that's a little bit too hard. I gotta work out which which dungeon is where I need to go. Damn it. Maybe I should collect that money and go back and see if I can buy anything. Yeah, they, 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 they are a little bit flickery, but they, they do look good, like, so... I definitely want to play them, even if I can end up buying it. Alright, a hundred already for a sword. And axe, right, okay. Okay, that's a trick with this. Come on, Wolfie. Am I getting enough for a weapon power up? Yes. Yep. Okay, they're a bit odd. Oh, 
Oh, they die. Easy. Okay, this may be the way to go. They obviously must be a bit of an easier route to start off. Ah, oh, when you use this weapon, it does go a bit shit. I wonder if uh Let's have a look, vertical crop. Sprite limit high, maybe, maybe that'll help. An overclock that was well, can it? back for a weapon I think before I go into that dungeon at least I know where we gotta go now crack down 1066 sounds pretty good Got that weapon. I can't afford any of them. Okay, you're not supposed to buy a weapon now. Take our back. Right, let me save it. Oh, you get food back when you save as well. Yeah. I still don't like our food thing. Oh, the enemy stay dead. Interesting. <laughs> we the conqueror. That would make a quite good uh, commander conquer game. This is definitely going to be the way to go. I'm killing everything in one hit. I don't want the crabs. The problem with crabs, got to put sugar on them because it rots their teeth. It's the only way to get rid of them. They are scorpions, though. <laughs> I'm rich on the gold. No, it's supposed to be sand, I think. How do I get in here? Whoa! Whatever that was. Go 
Go on by the prices in our shop, man. That's going to take me bloody ages to get enough for a weapon. Probably worth me going around here. When you use a weapon, it does go crap. Scrolling goes for shit. <laughs> you can um, you can overclock your Mister now. Notes that there's an overclock script they've been working on. They keep saying it might help with hybrid emulation. Is this the same floor but repeated? It can't be. I've got the chests again. Go up, shall we? Annoying the scrolling goes so terrible. That was really bad. Is there anything you can do about it? No, I don't think there is. I wasn't sure if the Mega Drive core had like an overclock option. Keep it. Level four. I gotta watch, I'm gonna die of starvation. Stop. I wouldn't think it scrolls so bad, do you? But this does it when you use your weapon for some reason. for that. Jane got. Food maybe? 
Oh, there's a trap. I like the sounds good. Red is food. Red warrior just said food. Red warrior is about to die. Gold up was a classic. Okay, so I can't get in there, I'm gonna keys. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, I got one key actually. Yeah, you're right, because the Mega, the Mega CD did have a faster processor, didn't it? It's got no problems when it's got lots of stuff on screen. It's just when you use that bitty weapon. Avenger again now. He runs faster than the screen scrolls as well. You notice, like the screen kind of catch up. things left. No more keys. This wouldn't be so bad if I didn't have that uh, health problem. The food issue.
Jesus, the last I guess of who is I'm screwed. That's where I went before. I'm literally gonna starve to death now. Yeah, it's, it, it, it don't have it in the other games though, do you know I mean? It's only in this one you've got it, which is, I don't know, it's a bit shit. I don't think I've seen like being here before. I think I have been here before. Yeah, I have. Well, it's definitely in as good as uh, the PC Engine one. All the SNES one, actually. I did quite enjoy Crystal Beans. I'm dead. It's not giving me any food either, is it? I haven't got a key to get through that. I'm screwed, basically. Stuffed. I am shafted. Screwed. Seven, six, nearly dead. Oh, I got food. I was lucky. Kill him easy now. <laughs> Food, come on. I get that. Yep. Almost dead again. Come on, give me food at least. Oh, that was that was just wasn't worth it, really, was it? Not digging this version, I gotta be honest. It's 
after the keys come back, look. So can I just... Don't tell me you can just get to a place and hog keys. Yeah, you can. Shit, that isn't it? Yeah, don't like that much. Shame, eh? I'll go and get another drink now. I keep doing that, I can reset it. Yeah, every time I try and play that game, I just, I don't, I don't like it. This was a Japanese only release, I believe. Reginald Pearl. <laughs> Game Creative Arts Wolf Team. You want to say it? Game Creative Staff. Oh, Staff. Close. Team. Get that. Yeah, it's not very good. I gotta love those low, low resolution FM. FMV. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo Water Front. Looks fantastic. Uh, imagination of 4K Terry. <laughs> Look awful. Devastating. デバステイターがあの空間を入れて、我々の空間とデバステイターがあの空間を入れて、我々の空間とデバステイターがあの空間を入れて、我々の空間とデバステイターがあの空間を入れて、我々の空間とデバステイターがあの空間を入れて、我
港は強烈な磁力を発し周囲を破壊一夜にして辺り一面を荒野に変える調査の結果その塔は異空間からの侵略者デバステイターの手によるもので我々の空間とデバステイター側の空間を入れ替えるための触媒らしいということが分かった早くから異空間の存在に気づきその対策を行ってきた八重津工業は独自に開発した破片ロボット兵器ベクターバーサスを用いて塔の破壊を狙うあの空間にモンスターがいることが判明した以上我々はそれとの格闘戦を余儀なくしかし東京ウォーターフロント周辺は塔に軍事的価値を見いだした超国家軍事組織などによって制圧されている。2032年東京ウォーターフロントに突如として怪しげな塔が出現し塔は強烈な磁力を発し周囲を破壊一夜にして辺り一面を荒野に変える調査の結果その塔は異空間からの侵略者デバステイターの手によるもので我々の空間とデバステイター側の空間を入れ替えるための触媒らしいということが分かった早くから異空間の存在に気づきその対策を行ってきた八重津工業は独自に開発した破片ロボット兵器ベクターバーサスを用いて塔の破壊を狙うあの空間にモンスターがいることが判明した以上我々はそれとの格闘戦を余儀なくしかし東京ウォーターフロント周辺は塔に軍事的価値を見いだした超国家軍事組織などによって制圧されている。I'm enjoying it. It's good the yellow glasses on. That helps. その塔は異空間からの侵略者デバステイターの手によるもので我々の空間とデバステイター側の空間をデバステイター Yeah, just channel 4, eh? Channel 4 and S4C tend to do well. I haven't got a clue of this thing either, so don't worry. 東京ウォーターフロントに any Welsh words I know is um, Gwelly, which is being pretty much bed, and uh, Gronny, which is nibbles, and Burada. Oh, I'm clock eye bank. That's about it. Not going to get me far, that's all I can say. So, attack, jump, and attack. One of those games no one ever talks about. This is more interesting already. Bomber. Alright, I wonder which weapon's the best. Bomb's quite cool.
arguably stripped. Bomb's quite powerful. Love that. Yeah. Right. Which one would be best? Laser? Yeah. What's quick? And S is the spread. That's also quite handy, actually. This is the it's definitely the Optimus Prime. Yeah, it was Channel 4 it was. Take a strut. Oh yeah. Damn, that was a bad move, wasn't it? Takes a bit of a beating, doesn't he? Yeah, it is. That's what's here so well. So Channel 4 does a lot of English stuff. That's a bit of both, basically. No, if you ever watch it, man, I can't understand the word they're talking about. It's like ground here, they um they, they push the Welsh languages first, so you got road signs, it's a pain in the ass. You got half the road signs to Welsh and then English, and then the other half is English then Welsh. Because they haven't bothered changing them all and they push the Welsh language first, but like no one round you uses it as their first language. No one. In North Wales they do, and that that way, but round here, no. Like my argument in work as well, they want me to answer the phone in Welsh and then in English. But if somebody speaks to me in Welsh, I haven't got a clue what they're talking about. And because I've answered the phone in Welsh, I'm pretty much putting out there that I can speak Welsh. So they might get pissed off that I can't talk to them. Idabashi. Right, here we go. Oh, we can uh, double tap to know. I can't. 
I don't do that then. Ah, pull down. Right, okay. Try to do the dash over. Oh, you got charged, I think. I think that's more powerful. Yeah, it is mainly North Wales. I understand they want to keep it and stuff, you know? Yeah, from Rhonda. That's not far away from here. Yeah, it's, I, I, I do understand they want to keep it, but they, they try and force it as the first language, but it's not, it's not around here. It is in North Wales. I do never hear anyone speaking Welsh around here. You know, as a, just the normal speaking. Unless they're asked to speak Welsh or something, you just don't hear anyone at all. Like. Bomber. Damn, I can't get Maybe laser is the most powerful one. But look, yeah, it is, isn't it?
should have kept the uh, one item dead. Nothing wrong with preserving it, like that's fine. Yeah, if somebody wants to speak to us, to me in Welsh, they they can ask, and I I can pass. We got like a um a Welsh unit in work, so I can pass them along to them, you know, if they want to speak about us. But I've never ever had anyone in all the jobs I've ever been in asked that they want to only communicate in Welsh. Never. There's many people around that, you know, I do speak it, but I never bothered learning it. I suppose there's some words I probably know in Welsh because it's all on uh, road signs and stuff like that, if you know what I mean. Like all the names of streets in Welsh, like mine is um, Haven Wealth. It's my street. Big production values. Yeah, Clicker Bank. Clicker Bank. Bank, yeah, Clicker Bank. It's pretty much fuck off. I know that one. I don't know any episode, to be honest. I think it's just literally that. Never had. <laughs> never sort of felt the need to swear to anyone else. That is literally the only one I know. I have no idea what's going on. It's so bad. Bad resolution. I don't know when other languages, so I'm calling you. That one. Nani! What? Best, best uh, word in the Japanese language. Nani! Oh, transformer action. Oh, yeah. I thought he changed into a girl then. I was like, okay. <gasps> Put on there. Okay, cool. I need to shoot my level. Yeah. Quite nice looking, though. Huh? I think I need the laser. I think the laser is pretty much the best weapon by the look of it. Seems the most powerful. -est. On a what did life? Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're dead already. Do 
Damn, I wasn't trying to get after a weapon. I need to pick up a laser. First opportunity. That one. Oh, I picked a bomb again. Great. Oh, I missed one, damn it. So I would have done a bomb then. I'm almost dead again. Oh, come on, give me a chance to get out of here. I'm screwed. Oh my god. Hey, hey. Come on, give me a chance to get out yet. I'm stuck. Yeah, they never did they did it in a few games, weren't they? Like the Batman games got pretty fantastic uh, you know, like racing segments. The game itself the Batman game itself is a bit shit, but the racing segments look amazing. I know what you mean, they didn't really... Oh. That's what I want. Like they did it with the PC Engine CD, didn't they? Every sort of upgrade they did, you know, the games literally got better, didn't they? And all that was was literally memory. There was no like special hardware or anything in there. Even the arcade card was the same. Yeah, core design stuff looked really good, didn't it? Like a Soul Storm. That's quite an impressive looking game for his time. Game I've not really played that much. I remember getting to the um, the bits where you're going around on land, and then not figuring out where to go on it. Tricky to keep your eye on that. <laughs> yeah, Chuck Rock is it's a bit of a crap game, but it looks good. Eh? Yeah, Warhawk is nice. I used to quite like the Meg CD version of that. I didn't like the Saturn version much though. 
It was a bit of a mess. It was a bit racy. Bit raunchy. <laughs> what the hell is going on? That's what I don't know. <laughs> Well, she ain't happy about it, whatever it is. Right, I think this is the level I got to and I literally haven't done it. I think it's like quite mazy this level. Yeah, this is it. This is the one I didn't get past. Takes a little while to turn around a little bit. Ah, you can hit it from behind. Not from front. Hopefully they don't respawn. Nope. Hmm. Where do I go over here then? That looks suspicious, like do something. Oh, okay. Right, I wanted life then. Oops. Yep. See, this is where I got to last time I played it. Okay. 
going down there, Drain. Very good job I fell off that platform, man. That's a bit, a bit skanky. And I'm dead. Oh, oh you peered up no way. <laughs> ah. Okay, I didn't start at the beginning here. Anyway. Get out of there. Okay. You literally gotta know that's there. guys. Okay, you made it. Oh, you can jump on top of them things. Right, my go up here. Nope. Damn, I think still hit me anyway. Oh, that was naughty. I got no energy. He's ugly bugger, isn't he? Might stay there. Get quite a few hits in, I guess. <laughs> Go for a ride. Dead. been this far. This is the only thing I have. It was a long time ago last time I played this. Damn aliens. It was a short one. Oh, I've shot my plow. Okay, we got enemies to grow. Grow us. I'm a 
screw him up. Oh, there's two of them here then. down yet. Bam. Free them, maybe. Life. Life. I see them things are. Life. Oh, boss. Looks like something out of Prehistoric Isle. Uh, I can't it. Okay, what are they doing? Can I shoot them? No. I can't turn around. I can't turn around. Okay. I need to shoot the one that comes out the top. Damn, you need to shoot that one because that's the one that causes you trouble. I was gonna happen. I got my stuff trapped, I killed it as well. If you just do that, that's not too bad. So basically stay down here, and when he fires, go underneath him. Okay, we're good. We got it. We got a plan. Got him easy in. Oh, all right. He's not dead. Okay, 
takes a little bit to turn around. Wreck the plane to try and get out of it. <laughs> yeah, it probably would fit in the cart. You're probably right. Apart from the intros and the music. It was. I don't know why they never released this anywhere else other than Japan. There was a couple of Japan-only games. I got some translated games on you which are Japan-only as well. I think they like um, the Tantra R games. Ooh, okay, okay. Some fancy... Uh, I think a lot of the Mega CDs games could have probably just been on a cartridge, to be honest. Nothing wrong with making use of that uh, Red Book audio, though. Can't fault that. It's like the PC Engine, you know, there's, there's loads of really good PC Engine CD-ROM games. They really went for it, didn't they? It's a bit of horrible bit, isn't it? Back over here. There's another one here as well. Oh. Night trap. Yeah, that was a ball sack boss. Oh, the controversy that caused in America is crazy, wasn't it? Oh, 
life. I made loads of like trap. I, I don't like it very much. Full motion game in it. They appreciate me. He loves them though. Ah, damn, I've changed my weapon. All oh, right. Okay, that's a bad idea going down there. Okay, this is going to be awkward. That oh, went too bad. Oh, that was really bad. Yeah, same here. I, I, I don't. I'm not a fan of them either. They, they, they don't have one or two that are decent. But generally, they, they, they're not particularly very great games, are they? How am I going to do this without getting it? Okay, I see. When it, I'm dead again. Same spot as last time. No enemies here this time, huh? Um. Right, that's the boss. Okay. Well, I should start leaving the boss now, I think. Yeah, there's one or two, like, uh, Cobra Command's not bad, and Road Avengers, pretty decent for what it is, but, you know, you wouldn't play it much. I quite like Pyramid Attack as well. I think that was the failing one here, the, the first, you know, like the Mega CD and I was too many of um, those type games on it. What's that do? Yeah, they were on Lisa's disc on the arcade. But Road Avengers is uh, pretty good. The Meg CD version is better than the arcade one. Not looks wise, like if you know what I mean, but it's got a better soundtrack. It's a little bit more interesting. free
long time in that was. Right, okay, I'm gonna have to do it now. Yeah, good with the video card. I bought a video card, I did a review of it a long time ago. I bought one for five. Yeah, I did a review ages ago, one couple, of, probably two years ago now. I had a couple of uh, VCDs here as well. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I, I want that's that's the one I want for my satin, but it's expensive. The Satanator, or whatever it's called. Yeah, if you look through my videos, you'll probably find this on me. It was probably an interesting thing to have back in the day. When you could get VCDs and, you know, DVDs weren't the thing or whatever. It was probably a really cool thing to have. And it, it does improve stuff in some games as well. Yeah, there hasn't been an AliExpress version. But, yeah, the Saint Nate is about 200 and 260 quid, something like that, plus import duty and postage. So it's a good 300 odd quid if you want one. Ideally, that's pro that is the one to have in it because you get to keep your um, CD drive. You don't have to mod. Well, I mean, you don't have to mod anything. You just let plug it in and off you go. And he was the guy that cracked the uh, the satin encryption and uh, got basically emulation working as well from his work on that uh, flashcard. Why do Japanese always portray themselves as white or with huge eyes and stuff in anime? I don't see many anime characters looking very Japanese too. Yeah, they probably will be at some point. He's quite a clever guy there, so maybe he's built some sort of like protection into it. And that's why they haven't figured it out. But his work on that is what uh, made Saturn Emulation get better. I need to get the, the new assembly, actually. Saturn Emily, I got it, it's pretty decent, but it's not perfect. But the the um, Saturn core on the uh, Mister is getting better. Considering the guy's in a war zone, who's doing it, he's doing well. Like There was an update today.
Oh, is this a boss battle again? Yeah, it probably looks like a boss rush level. He's a bit harder than he was before, though. Stop. Nice. Nice. You remember, and the others are going to go down, I'm right. It'd be a bit rough if we go try and kill them all on uh, one energy bar. Yep, get out of his ass. Down fast enough, I tried. Damn, <sighs> where's the start? Me, I brought the fire and fed up, press that button. <laughs> Oh, that's that's quite cool. Oh no, it isn't. I thought it started you with the other boss. Yeah, I always thought that the, the, the uh, you know the fight the bosses again was always a little bit of a cheap one.
He is Mr. Picky Wicky. <laughs> Don't worry, you got a giant worm up his ass, though. Yeah, it's a bit cheap, isn't it? It always has been. Like, I know they did it to make the games longer, but I don't know, I've always found it a bit cheap. I know it's a bit of a shoot 'em up stable as well, the two loops. I've always found two loops a little bit cheap as well. <laughs> Thing to have stuck up your ass. No wonder he's pissed off. I would be. It is no wonder he's angry. Revenge, definitely. I need energy now, too. Not nice. Didn't fire that last time. Okay. Okay, he's loads harder. Is he going to start me on him again, hopefully? Oh, fucking hell, right back at the beginning again. That's annoying. He didn't do that last time, did he? Didn't have that attack. <laughs> oh yeah, Valley Sai. Oh, that was a bastard that was.
viel Seife ist war schön. Where the hell was he keeping that? Losing too much energy on them as well. Okay. No safe states on you either, is it? That would be handy. Oh my god. So now I gotta get. Oh, right, okay, that aims for me. Okay, so first one is homing. Hopefully, it keeps the same patterns. One, two, three. Then it aims for me. And then I've got to get in close. Now he does fall. Great. Let's try bomb. It's not powered up very much. Ah, uh, you can power him up as a look of it. So I definitely had more bombs in Plaques would be quite nice actually, this probably. Okay. Right, okay, so I need one bomb. See if it powers up, I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, it does. I don't think bomb's gonna help me at all on this level. On this boss. Might help me on the next boss, mate. Yeah. <sighs> 
right, okay. This is all gonna come from behind me. That's the problem though, is I got it twice in. Couldn't get away from it, man. Damn it. Not good. Nice, nice. Right, so homing wins. Homing, homing, homing. I got it anyway. They aim for you. <sighs> no. He's a bit tricky to dodge, isn't he? I'll get it again. Great. <sighs> is he gonna bug it off? It looks like he is. Oh no, he's not. Randomized. Okay, come on, come on. <laughs> it might turn into that. I'm more powerful if I get him with that. Try out now. Might be. it again. Not good. I'm 
shoot me in the eye. It's weird these just literally appear. Right, so these are homing, so I want to be up here. That's quite tricky to dodge. Okay, so that doesn't make any difference. It's oh, tricky to dodge. That's really hard to dodge. I'm not like fast enough. Oh, I've got two more lives. I've got one more life after this. Golden shower. <sighs> oh, that was lucky. Very hard to dodge those um, homing ones. Got the first two reasons to be sussed. I don't think you could get behind that boss either. Be handy if you could get behind it. I think with the home wind fire, he's, he's just gonna hit you anyway. It's a bit of a shit if you die, it puts you right back at the beginning, though, right? Yep.
These are level four. I wonder if you can power it up anymore. I'll try and get more laser levels down. No, four is. Okay. Try and stay back and dodge these lasers. I'm gonna do the up and down. Uh, that works, okay. That was quick, was shot. Full powered shot, that, that kicked ass then. Yeah, literally, he's literally for about a second. If I get close, I can wreck him with this. Possibly. Um, okay. How's he gone? That's a bit naughty to go off screen to use this, so I don't know who's doing it. Puzzle death. I wonder if I can kill this thing any faster. Definitely hitting them all with this. Uh, okay, I wrecked him. does kick ass. I wonder if I can um I wonder if I can get in close to kill him. I'm tempted to try it. Nice. Yeah you can. Okay. Okay, maybe not. I'm not continuing. I could try to I'm going to be at level 1 now. Oh no, I'm not still level 4. Nice. Ah, 
At least I'm killing them quicker. Sometimes you didn't turn around really fast. Dodge ever. Oh, can't they do? Okay, it's good. Maybe. Sales so blow up. Ah, oh, damn it. This one's not going too well. Worst dodges. Arrow. I wonder if he was dead as well. Right, so at least I know it's worth basically going right in the face of that, try kill him the first time, and then dodge his attack and just get right in close. That does work. I 
was horrible. Ah, oh, damn, I didn't want that. Shit. Yeah, I think you might be right. I noticed that it wasn't flashing as well. Turn around then, I tried. Found again. It's tricky sometimes to turn around. I think it gives me four, if I'm fast enough, four blocks of energy. I need to find a way of just being able to dodge him, don't it? It's just timing, I think it is. this thing so far. It keeps flying off screen, which is really nice. Thank you. This, it's a bit lucky sometimes on this one whether you actually get a good go in him or not. Luck basically, like whether you get hit or not, but there. That was nice. Yep. Don't be like that. I'm gonna have to basically just tank it a minute. Get out of the way. Tank it on the way down. 
Well, okay, that was quite good. I should be able to dodge this, hopefully. Okay. I tried tanking it. Ooh, is that it? Oh, that. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> I was really right in the edge as well at the end, wasn't I? How to do it? It's it took a little bit, didn't it? It's that weapon. It's the key, isn't it? I might not be the end. Who knows? Wonderful. <laughs> if it's the end, it might not be. <laughs> we'll see. が離脱時の職に耐えられるという保証はありません。それにバスを支えた彼らを降ろせる長い直線距離なんてどこにも。俺も若い頃は可愛い子ちゃんを連れてよく行ってたもんさ。ブッンあげなさい。横浜ベイ
the only thing that comes close to this is playing old DOS games. They actually look like the FMP. <laughs> now CGA colour palette. The old pink and very, very ever colours. Yeah, that'd be nice. Scanlines probably wouldn't help this much, would it? Let's see if I can figure it out. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it did make it a bit better. Yeah, CJ graphics. Did that actually make that look better? Yeah, I think it does actually. <laughs> I think it masks the crapness. Oh, that was the end as well. Yep. Scan lines, composite blue. Bilinear filtering. Would look fantastic then. Oh, we've got a song. Now we're talking. Yep. Tessio Genda. <laughs> yeah, cataracts would make us better as well, actually. I wouldn't be able to see the infections. Original bill. Okay. Superintendent. Nice. Yep. <laughs> uh. I can't remember the end. Is that, is that the Blue Mary song? At the end? Fatal Fury Free? If I remember rightly. Yeah, it's like a um, saxophone thing in there, if I remember right there at the end. Like a little like music video type thing. It's on the CD one. It might be. The Burry Arm. Yeah, that's a Meg CD game. That's um, Robo Lest, isn't it? Not Robo Lest. Is it Robo Lest? Might be Robo Lest. It's good body arm, someone else. No, it's a short one, eh? Oh, I took 
Takana. Takana did as well. Tanch Pan. Android Assault, that's it. Cool. Like I say, that was a short game. <laughs> uh, that's a bit nuts, that is, on you. Cyborg. What else we got? Ernest Evans. Cheesy, but good. Ah, what's those translated games? Could be these. Don't think I've ever tried them. Ethan. I forgot to go to Jack first, a minute. Yeah, these are English translated. <laughs> I prefer the original um, Mega CD by a screen. When it spins around and stuff. Sega! Sega! Yeah, Volume 1 and 2. Okay, so he's a flicky. Okay, action game. Action hyper. Hyper marbles. Should we call that? Eh? That's a pyramid mix. Ah, oh, the ah, oh, these are the fancy star ones. They actually translate it. The text adventures. That's interesting. If they did, let's try the puzzle game, shall we? Yeah, I don't know what's on the second disc. Cool if they translated the uh, fancy star ones. I'll have a look at it just to see if they have translated them. They didn't translate you there. to try it, see what it's like. <laughs> oh god. See when you gotta clean the glasses you're wearing and you gotta clean them and it's worse when you started. I should be cleaning the kitchen roll I suppose I suppose that probably doesn't help. Actually that'll do that. Right, what do you do in this? Oh, I've played this before. I've played this before. Oh, you just pass the ones in the game. Looks interesting. Right, I've played that one before, so we'll go with the second. Uh, actually, can I go back from there? I must have tried these before. <laughs> Let's try the second one, see what's on there. I remember playing that puzzle game before and getting stuck ages ago, mind. Sega! Sega! Yeah, 
How's that? Oh, I tell you, I lose. I like that game that much. Are these some of the games off the download system? Yeah, because that's um, Fatal Labyrinth, isn't it? Yeah, these are all the games off the Sega download system. That's what this disc is. Roger's Adventure. Let's have a look if they translated this. Might have actually. No. Of course, all, all they've done is translated the menus in. I'm sure there's a translation of these on the Saturn, maybe? Yeah, they're all the download games. Fatal Labyrinth, the um, zany golf thing. Um, Illusion City. Not the alien. What else we got? Um, the unworked versions of Luna. Oh, I got the unworked version of um, Pop for Mail on here as well. I quite like that game, but they, it's, a, it's a bit of a nightmare on the bloody conversion they did. Road Rash. Gonna <laughs> go Solfies, maybe. Shadow up, Shadow up, Beast. So go there. Sengoku, is it? Pretty sure that's on here. Did I put it on you? It's a pretty decent conversion of the new Jew one, this is. It's a pretty nice conversion. It's not bad on the SNES either, to be honest. The SNES one isn't as good looking as the new Jew one, so it's none of the conversions are, but. I think this one might be one of the closest ones. Yeah, it's pretty nice. From what I remember, I think it's a pretty nice conversion of the Neo Geo version. Good beam. It's got the music of the new Juice CD one as well, isn't it? See, it's a pretty nice conversion of the new Juice one. I like the look of this game, but it, it, it's not the greatest beat map of the world. Is it? Ah, two's good. You still have one or two on the new Jew. Yeah. Lacking a few, like, parallax levels or whatever, but it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty decent conversion. Gaming as well, which is cool. Yeah, 
Yeah. It's a bit slow, isn't it? Got Benki. Yeah, it is. Like I said, I, I, this game looks cool. Damn. It's missing a lot of the speech, isn't it? The new Jew one's got loads of like chanting and things like that going on. I don't know change. Bit slower than the new G one as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably really expensive. I don't change. Size. <laughs> yeah, I used to have it like I had the AES version. Really nice looking game the second one as well, isn't Okay, man. Wish I knew it to change. Is it for a repro? Yeah, it's, it's probably more than that these days. See, so, yeah, so it's a pretty decent attempt at the Neo Geo one.
I'll stop up and around. How the hell do you change? Except my shoulder is not too bad on yet either on the CD. They're two like pretty nice conversions. This M50, but yeah. Oh, now it works. I love Neo Geo, but collecting for AES is ridiculous. Even, you know, MVS is, get, is expensive as well. You are paying like full, like, AES is the most ridiculous arcade collecting ever, isn't it? Tell me, cut up a go of his um, Metal Slug 2 without any uh, slowdown, which is rather nice actually. Sengoku Free, I didn't like it much. It's a bit. It, it seems a bit. Um, seems a bit slow, even though it's got lots of combos and stuff. It seems a bit boring, but I've changed my mind on it. I've seen a replay of it, and he was amazing at it, and he made it look like a fantastic game. It plays brilliant. The third one. Paskey's replay of it is amazing. It's only 161 in one, isn't I like the poster to this as well, the poster's cool. You got it a bit. Nice. Yeah, I, I, well, I reviewed it and didn't give it that great a review, but I think I literally couldn't play it. I think that's what it was. You can make that game look quite exciting. I like the music on it and the combos and stuff. Oh, it's on there, is it? I got the engine 21 in one somewhere. Yeah, I know. And you got to have that bloody um, board that goes on the side of it, isn't it? I have a nice get a multi card basically, but then they ain't cheap, are they? I think even the cheapest multi card is about 350. 350, 400 quid. I should get my Neo Geo back out actually. Oh yeah, I got the bit of um, Terra and multi card. Yeah, I was always after 131, but never got one. I, I, you can get them, but it's just got Magician Lord and stuff on it, isn't it?
I've only got like two AES games basically, and uh, the Terror Onion Cart. Yeah, I know there's been a bit of controversy about them. They make good stuff though. It's just, I think the guy's a bit of a dick, isn't he? Basically. Unfortunately, he has. He has said a few things that hasn't put him in a very good light, unfortunately. But, you know, this stuff is good. I got the PC Engine one as well, that's really nice. unlock it. I'm sure you can't do that on the new Jew one. Yeah, that selection board's a bit weird, isn't it? It seems a bit like sort of hacked together, doesn't it? And apparently the cables on those boards, if they break, which apparently they can do quite easy, uh, pretty much you can't use it. Yeah, I've got the, the, the PC Engine one, which is really nice. And I've got the um, the Neo Geo card. Like I said, the, the stuff is good. It's just... I don't know, the, the guy is... I think what he needs to do is basically just don't go on Twitter. It was a bit... I don't know, I, I think... What he said about Chris was pretty bad. He got called out in that pre. He had to do a public apology for that. So I, I don't know. I think he's a bit jealous of Chris, to be honest. Which I don't know why, because Chris was around first. He sort of like jumped in on Chris's business, and you know, Chris don't care. But it was yeah, it was pretty bad. It was in pretty poor taste at the time, I think. But he did apologise for it. He did blame his wife on Well, he tried to, but he did say it's his fault. <laughs> Alright, mate. Odin. Yeah, exactly. And they're all they're, they're all different to each other as well. Terra Onion stuff is different to Chris's stuff, so you know, there's room for both of them. So there's no need to, there's no need to be jealous of one or the other. Killed by a big red thing. Hello, how's it going, mate? Yeah, exactly. I say it's, this is a pretty decent conversion. Right, anyway, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go for another drink a second. And then we're going to have a go of. Um, actually, I'm in the right place. Neo Geo, 24 megahertz. How are you, buddy? Anyway, you right? And we're going to have a go. I suppose still the mist it does trump all of it. <laughs> to be honest. I don't want the turbo hack. I want the standard one. I really like Metal Slug too. I think I prefer it. To, I do prefer it to Metal Slug X. Right, let me go and grab another drink a second. Metal Slug 2!
Metal Slug 2. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of work lately, even. Oh, the one I went away. Rocco! Mission one, start. We hit one now over here. Yeah, it's literally you got no slowdown now. I really like Metal Slug too. Thank you. Thank you. Get the baby. Yeah, Metal Slug X is good. I don't know, I just prefer this version for something, I don't know why. Metal Zerg is like an expanded version of this piece, isn't it? It's just a shame that the original release of this had so much of um, slowdown on it. The the hacked version's better. The secrets on the first level everywhere. Yeah, they, they did. They changed a lot of stuff in X, didn't they? They did rework quite a few things. I think they balance it a little bit better than X as well, but I don't know, I just really like part two. X is brilliant as well. Oh, I've been playing that mystery. Yeah, it's a really good game, man, isn't it? I, I, I like the new G version as well.
All the all the Metal Slug games are good. Cool, that no slow down there. This this twenty four hertz um, mode it breaks loads of games, mind. weapon. Yeah, Fight the Phase one is really good. It's a really nice game that is. Great the mouse, I guess. Fantastic animation and stuff. Surely more secrets from here. It's a really cool game, Fight the Face one. Same people who did Raid and Run In. Zombie fight now. Yeah, the, the new Juice Sound Chip is wicked, isn't it? Heavy machine gun. Heavy machine gun. Quite a like, distinct sound to it as well, then. I had a go with Viper Phase when I was in um, Arcade Club as well. Let's play it for a little bit. Mission complete. Mission three. Start. Thank you.
Ah, oh, I knew it. As soon as he put his shield on, I got the atom screwed. Miss that then. It's tricky about a ball. Thank you. Oh. Damn, I thought they'd get in the far then. I love it, it's like five as well. I like a more really, if there's one point as well. I think NASCAR went crazy, didn't they, with the pixel art in these games. Everything that uh, NASCAR had done since they left, well, even with the end of stuff they did for IRM. It's pretty amazing. Still got a bit of slow down. a little bit more tricky to dodge. Yeah, everyone loves Metal Slug 3. 1 and 3, I know what you mean. Yeah, they're all good, even even though, you know, probably the worst one out of the lot is 4, which is still great. Yeah. 
should work on the pipe if you don't know about bite fish. Hey, even four's a good game. I think like probably Metal Slug 3 is probably the nicest looking one, isn't it? They, they went to town on that when it came to like pixel art and stuff. They all look good, mine, but I think 3 is probably like graphically the pinnacle of it all. Do I know how many grenades I got left? Some grenades for this one. Yeah, the first battle sucks really good as well. I remember I first seen that man, I was just amazed how good that oops, how good that game actually looks. Ah uh, no. Damn it. I forgot Odin down there. Uh, fire and jump in jump out the tank. Definitely without the slowdown, it does make it a little bit harder. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, slug. <laughs> nice. That's what I might do. So I haven't played it for a while. I'm, I'm missing it. I'm missing it. Time. Um, oh, where is he? Gone way past him now. Let's see if we can uh, still play this game. Yeah, definitely nostalgia with the first one. Right, let's give it a go. Let's give a crowd on this and see if I can get. I don't think there's any improvements to this. Things pretty fantastic. Man. I do love this game. Nice to be fun playing some Mega CD games tonight for a change. The clocks have gone back on our wood as well, so uh, technically it's not two o'clock yet.
could have gone through that as well. Didn't need to waste the bomb. How are you playing this early? Yeah, it's great game, it is. Yeah, man, it takes a bit of practice or so. It is a fun game. It, it is my favourite two blind game. I'm still not quite sure how you trigger the things by shooting the trees. It's like hard at first, you, know, you, you tend to run out of time a lot because uh, you've got to keep pushing forward. You start getting good. The time thing is not so much of a problem. That's what's cool about the emulation stuff now, isn't it? The, you know, Mr. Emulation or whatever. Is just how many cool games you can actually play that you literally would have disappeared from the arcades. Can I do? Cheers for jumping in, as always. I reckon with a bit more practice here, some playing a little bit more, I could probably, I could, I could loop it twice. I came close to that one night. I should just start playing the harder version. I wanted that. You know what it is about this game? I've always really loved it, even though it's got that time thing, which technically I suppose is a bit annoying. Got it. You're off as well, you but 
Yeah, this is going to be my last game, basically. Even though I'm starting to wake up with <laughs> Cheers for joining anyway, mate. Cheers for hanging around, as always. Appreciate it. And uh, have a good one. I'll probably catch you tomorrow if you're about. As long as you've got speed, you can run this guy. Like that. you got to have speed to do it though. The only problem, speed on this bit is uh, fun. Oh nice. I'm not going to pick that up quite yet. I'm going to go forward a little bit first. Lots of shield anyway, cool. You made it. That would have been silly if I lost my shield then. Very good tip, Alex. Once you get to this bit, you only go forward so far, and uh, you can literally shoot them before they come on, and then back off for this. Nice. And you drop bombs for you because uh, essentially you can pick that up. And you you can use three bombs. You can do a runner then, basically, and use a bomb and perhaps the NG. Pick up. Okay, we're good, we're good. You can bomb this bit pretty much all the way through it because it, it gives you a lot of bombs. I think that's what it wants you to do basically in this bit of bomb. Wait for there, start the bomb. Oh, nice burner. Not burner, but the. Uh, It gives you loads of bombs. Same as this bit, just bomb like hell, basically. Try not to pick up a crap weapon. Don't bomb in this bit, you can get loads of points. I'm go for the MG. I need 
messed that up then. <laughs> I'm going to have to go over this side because I don't want to pick that up. Fast then. Now we get started. Why didn't I use a bomb? Oh, my brain said, no, you can dodge it. Yeah, the brain was wrong. Oh. I had loads of bombs as well. <laughs> Make it more interesting. I think you won't come with me either. Hold on, so what? I've got a load of them coming from the side, there should be eight of them. I'm tricking them yet. We've got one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Happy days. You take this bit slow, you can catch these before they fire. Okay, but we can't take too long. you got to watch this bit as well, because you can trap yourself. I'm going to have to go and bomb it. Okay, we're cool. Sure, if I could make out then. Wasn't sure how fast they, how close they blow up to, how much of a spread they got on them. They always blow up at the side of you. Like we stay here, sort of. Okay. Probably should use the bomb then just to be safe. This bit I don't like. Shit, I can't hang around too long either. I'm 
just going out, I'm just getting out, yeah. That's right, I should have hit the checkpoint. Yeah, no. Balls. to rush out then. I should not. Stuck in on the wall. <laughs> right. Can I be covered for this? Yeah, I'm getting a little bit like that as well, to be honest. Yeah, no worries, but cheers for jumping in. Thanks a lot. Take it. Okay, so I got one life. This is the hardest level. This is probably the hardest bit to be. Oh, I nearly had it. We've got a couple of bombs, so it's not too bad. That's what sort of bomb, maybe. It's a bit tricky. This bit's not too bad, as long as you hug the ball. You're pretty safe. Don't walk over the red tiles. If you do, you're dead. With this weapon, you can rush this bit. Okay, that was pretty good. That'll teach me to rush it. Right by the last boss, I was as well. I might just, I might just do it to see it. Should just take my time in this bit instead of trying to rush it. What you gotta do? Trigger the one guys from the side, and then get right up behind you. Oh, they didn't come out. That's weird. Stay behind the walls for safety. I 
bombed. That's super weird. I was like bombed then, they still kill me. Alright, let's just get to let's just get to the last one. This weapon's powerful. Okay. Wait for you. Okay, the last stretch. One ball. If you don't go too close to these, you can get them before they fire. Just quite a handy tiger. They've never said it up yet, something. It? it is. Okay, we're almost there. Here we go. I may die possibly. Basically, on a good go, I've, I've nearly, I've nearly done it twice around. It does get a lot harder the second time, but it's quite, it's manageable if, you, if you've got a good route for the levels. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, I try a lot more now and a lot faster. I, I don't think it gets any harder either. It's going to take your time a little bit more, basically. You can't take the same... sort of take the same as you used to before, but... I normally go over the top, but there you can't, you get sniped by that one on the left, if you do it. I might just start playing on the other difficulty. Yeah, that was a snipey bullet then, wasn't it? You get the idea anyway, I'm not going to go through it again. I'm going to call it a night, guys. Is it? Yeah. Four past two, it's been a long end. Right. Cheers for hanging around. Cheers for jumping in and watching. 
appreciate that. And I'm uh, I'm gonna get out here. Kill myself. Right. Cheers, guys. I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for hanging around and stuff. And um, good night. Catch you around.